Yeah, you want to see rain? Welcome to Cleveland. Alright, this is the one. This is the flamingo. Which we need to cut the grass pretty bad. I hate those bushes. So this home, so that you're aware of it, it's a referral. One of our subs called me and said, hey, um, I found this, this house I caught on fire. As you can see right there. So pretty much it needs some major repairs and the guy uh, the guy didn't want to deal with it for personal reasons and he put it for sale. So he called me and me and Joe, hi Joe, uh, pretty much we just purchased that home. We need to cut the grass pretty bad. Alright, so the fire... It, it was actually pretty bad. Um, holy cow. This is a mess. That's glass and whatever thing that is. Look at that. Alright, so... I don't remember the code to get inside. I'm gonna try it. If not, I'll call. Kenneth, look, that's uh, an AC unit, right? It is. We're gonna go inside, look at that. Last time I went in, I smelled like smoke for a day. All right, let's see if we can get in. Oh boy, stinks. Ugh. Sweet, look at this. Millions of dollars, this is a beauty right here. Got all this cabinet, so so Kenneth, he's a genius. He went to this uh, auction and he was able to purchase most of the stuff that we need uh, for a pretty, you know, pretty cheap price, but very quality stuff, like really good stuff. Look at that, what is this? Um, laminate, laminate flooring. Dang, he's good. Good job, Kenneth. This kind of look nice too. Let's see. Yeah, yeah. yeah mouse. Got a rat jump in front of the camera. <laughs> Can't you imagine? Alright, let's see. So Kenneth told me that they already, you know, came in and started doing Start started doing some of the cleaning, so most you know it doesn't look like like the day that I came in for the first time. That was pretty awful. Tomorrow morning, uh, so I'll tell you guys what's going on. So tomorrow morning, the dumpster is coming, a forty yard dumpster, and they're gonna deliver it. Uh, we're gonna start the demolition mode. So they're gonna demo most of the house. And I mean, I don't know if uh, they're gonna start doing the demo tomorrow. I just know that the dumpster gets here tomorrow. Then we call the utility company and we ask to get the electricity, water, garbage, and all that stuff. Oh boy. And uh, because there is no meter for the electricity, uh, they gave us a work number. Holy cow. Anyway, that's a room. If you guys can see something, it's super dark and there's no light, there's no electricity, of course. 
So we got to install a meter before we can do anything, before we can install any any light or anything. So at this point, I think the recording this is kind of pointless. But that kind of gives you an idea of the condition of the home. Look at that. Oh, wow. Stinks. I'm going to go home and shower. It's a good bed, good mattress. Look at all this mess. Um, yeah. Oh boy, it's a lot of work here. All right, so here's the deal. Um, what I'm going to do on the Flamingo project. Okay, so what I'm going to do, hold on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over once a day and I am going to to uh, keep you guys up to date. I'm going to record all the progress on this home, uh, what we do, uh, things that, you know, we were not able to do, but we were planning to do. Um, I'm going to show you how we install the cabinets when, you know, all the cleaning, the demo carpet painting vanities plumbing anyway all the whole huge mess yeah that's what we're gonna do now i really don't know how to get to a second floor so but we gotta figure that out the second floor is where the real mess is but we'll figure out a way to get there plus if i'm able to go to get to the second floor Okay, that takes us to the basement, which oh, stinks, look at all that. Well, that's a door, fully functional. Okay, see, so that's the basement. All right, so if you're wondering what happened all I know is that it was an electrical f failure. There was something on the electrical that started the fire, apparently. And, yeah. And, and that's that's the crazy thing, you know? Like, these places, I mean, these old homes, you never... Pff, gosh, dang it, a spider or something. Okay, I'm really not going to go there. Never mind, I'll walk there so you guys can see. Look at all this. So you never know, you know, all homes, uh, there's a little closet or something in that, that door right there. This is a mess. I'm assuming this is still functional. Who knows? Where's the water heater? Somewhere. Maybe the water heater is gone. No, the water heater is right there. Anyway, when we get some power... And I can open some windows or something. We can do the walk again. So that goes to the basement. Now we gotta find a way to go to the second floor. Which my guess is this door. Holy cow. Alright, so this is the second floor. Apparently the fire climb all the way to the roof. And so we're gonna have to replace the roof. That's a bathroom. And Joe, if you're watching this, Kenneth told me that he's going to raise the ceiling so that we can fit a like a proper shower or you know. Holy cow, this is, this is a mess. Anyway, look at all that. I don't know how sound this house is right now, but it's structurally, structurally sound, that's what I mean. So all this crap has to, you have to get rid of everything. Look, we don't even... 
We didn't even board that window or anything. Anyway, that's uh this is the second floor. So the idea the, the, the ideal situation is there would be a room here. We have a bathroom here. I have another room here, I believe. And then we have two bedrooms on the first floor. Anyway, so if you wanna see if you wanna see what we do. How we do it? Gross. Etc. Please subscribe to the channel. Subscribe. Click the bell. Once a day. I honestly, this is my commitment. I'm gonna come here every single day for the next 13 weeks, 15 weeks. I'm gonna keep you up to date about how this project goes. You will see it from now how all this mass destruction is to the beautiful home that we're going to have and that's the neighbor's home as you can see right there anyway all right let me close this door so tomorrow we should have the dumpster we should have uh, some people here working on the plumbing i believe I'm going to see if Kenneth is going to take care of of the yard. If not, I'm going to call somebody to start cutting that grass uh, weekly or bi-weekly or three times a month, I think it is. And then, and then that's it. Thank you guys for watching. Please subscribe if you like what you see. If you love to watch Destruction Mode homes, fire homes. If you have a fire home uh, and you want to sell it to me, please give me a call, put a comment, give me your cell phone, email, do, I don't know, whatever. I'll be more than happy to talk to you guys. Thanks again for watching. Let's get out of this place. Bye. So that's the Flamingo Project. Project Flamingo. I should say um, right now it looks very nice right and, and a couple things about this neighborhood like as you can see as you can see this is actually a pretty nice neighborhood like have some pretty nice homes you know and if we're able to do good if we're able to restore the home to its full potential we might be able to sell this home retail uh, like me is, you know, just put it in the MLS and just sell it. That's it. Because, you know, normally what we do is we put a tenant and we sell the home based on your ROI, your return on investment. So, you know, if you make like a thousand dollars a month on rent or whatever it is, then you're buying the home based on that um, return of investment. But in this situation with this specific home, we you know, we just might get it done, fix up, and just sell it the way it is. If you have any questions, please let me know. Put it in the comments. Thanks again for watching. Subscribe, and I will see you tomorrow.